What's up guys, it's Mike. It's Dan. We've been talking a lot about North Korea lately, which is really weird because before like we barely covered any news on North Korea. Right. And now it's like North Korea, this, Every North day. Korea, that. Every day. Yeah. Because it's really kind of just mind boggling the stuff that's happening. And I promise you, this news you'll wanna you wanna listen to this. This is some this is a this is some kind of movie right now. This is a we're movie, man. About, and it's not. It's real life. Yeah. Not a good movie. This is no. like a, a kidnapping thriller movie. Yeah. So there's a, there's a student, U.S. student, who 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 was thought to have died in China yeah. in 2004. So 12 years ago. Yeah. Okay. And apparently he's not dead. Yeah. He was kidnapped in China to be and transported to North Korea. To get this, not to go to prison. To be Kim Jong Un's English tutor, private tutor. Wow. Yeah. And now it's said that he was cited, or reportedly he has a wife and two kids, and he lives in Pyongyang. Yeah. Ho wait, this yo, yo, yo. How can this be real? It, well, it's not verified. But there, we don't know if it's real or not. This is just the report that's yeah. coming. Yeah. So a few crazy things. First of all, why why him is. He uh, he is a Mormon, I yeah, believe. Yeah, he's a Mormon. So when he was in China, it was like a uh, mission what do you trip. call it? A mission trip, yeah. right? And he's actually fluent in Korean. Mm -hmm. So there's the motive, if you want to call it that, to kid to kidnap him, whatever. Yeah. Think about what the parents and his family has been going through the last 12 years. I mean, just you, this is like heartbreaking. You see photos like the dad, the brother went back to China. They plastered his face like. Help us find our son. Mm -hmm. They went to the point, this this Tiger River or whatever, that supposedly he maybe was drowned in or something, right? Because he was pronounced dead because they can't find him. Just think about what, what, what they've been going through. Obviously, I feel like he's brainwashed. Okay. Otherwise, he would have reached out, right? Well, no, I'm thinking, whoa, whoa, whoa. yo, I, I agree with that, but here's what I was thinking. Mm. What if they said, if you reach out, we'll kill your family? Think about that. How think they kill their family no. in the dude, US? Dude, 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 dude. Like, yo, it's not like okay. the North Koreans have a, you know, have a have the CIA or its resources. Okay. They're literally, literally, their secret service is probably like, I mean, secretive right. spy network is probably not that large. Well, no. You're, you're thinking logically. Okay? Yeah. But if you're in the position, dude, put yourself in this guy's position. You're, let's say you got kidnapped. You're scared. You're scared for your life. You don't know if you'll see your family again. Do you think it's inconceivable that they threatened him no, and his no, no. family. I, I, I could understand that, yeah. but yeah, okay. But I feel like I feel like he, he there 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 would be a way for him to do something. I don't know about that because I don't think he's in prison now. He's no, he says he's right. wife and kid. Exactly. He's chilling out. So why couldn't he have contacted the family? Well, okay. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm saying it's brainwashing. It's mind control well, I, stuff. I think that so after a while, he's he's kind of already gotten used to that. Because I'm thinking life, right? it's like it's like the Stockholm syndrome. Yeah, I think where like he gets there, he's so afraid. They're like, hey, you know, uh, we treat you a little better. All of a sudden, he's like, yep. I'm loyal to right. North Korea now. Well, I, okay, I don't think he went that far to say now I'm loyal to North Korea. I think that maybe he got kind of used to his lifestyle in that. He has a life. It's not like he doesn't have a life. He has a wife and kids. So yeah. there maybe there's some happiness there. And yeah, but it still doesn't replace the fact that you're like, oh, I still got a whole family no, I, and life over there. That right. My parents are probably worried about me. First of all, I don't care what you get. Like, I don't care how you treat me. Maybe they treat him pretty well. Think about it. They have to treat That's him. That's what I'm saying. Because they're he's not in a labor camp, right? right? But even if it was me, I don't. I'm, I'm getting the heck out of there, man. I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to Andy Dufresne, I'm trying to figure out if it's, if I'm spending 12 years there, I'm, I'm like, yo, when can I get out of there? I mean, look, you're, you're a white person in North Korea. That's rare. In itself. That's really rare. I right. don't think you're living. I mean, I don't, I don't think, I mean, people go on tours over there. Right. I don't think a lot of white people live there. Right. So, I mean, there must be a way to do something if you wanted to. I'm just saying, if you wanted to, I don't know. This is crazy. And but this story in itself is just insane. This is literally, if he, if this is found true, <laughs> this this is like, you know, um, yo, like Tom Hanks gonna play that guy in the next movie. No, this is a movie, uh, first, and, and also like actual Congress people are talking about it. Right. Trying to, I don't know, launch an investigation or yeah. call for North Korea. First of all, North Korea can't openly let people find out that they abducted an American. They can't. No. If they did, you know how much? No, two, three, four, if they, no, no, no. You know first I mean? of all, 
if the, if we found that out, it doesn't matter because they they've done everything else already. They don't care. But I'm saying like confess to it. That would be really bad. Well, they're they're gonna be like, well, they're you might have, but you're not gonna know. Yeah, because we'll um, never find we'll never guy. let you in. Never, and, and we're never letting him out. Yeah. Yo, so maybe I don't know. So this whole thing is kind of boggles my mind. I think it's really messed up because I I'm still like on the on the mindset that if the guy tried to escape or say something, they're like, we're gonna kill you because. Is that's not inconceivable? I mean, no, it's not inconceivable. No, 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 it's not inconceivable. Right. I just feel like over the past twelve years, there could have been some form of way. Yo, people get people still get Korean dramas in South North Korea. They Ooh. still have access to certain things, information outside of North Korea. If they're one of the privileged few, which I'm thinking you're, you know, right. you might he might be. I mean, this is a so I don't know. This is a movie going down. Like, you could have went up to any white tourist group and be like, "Yo, guess get some word back to my folks." Uh, what if it's even bigger? What if he's been trying to and they're just unsuccessful? Well, then that 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 then that's a movie. That's a, I'm, I mean, I hope look, I hope I hope he is all right. Yeah. And if North Korea, and that means that he really did get abducted. Yeah. Which I don't know what's gonna happen there, but I hope he returns. I mean, to his from family. China, that's so random. Like, why don't you abduct like some random tourist in North Korea? Wouldn't that be a lot easier? Well, dude, I was reading about this, and this is another. This is like a whole nother thing, right? North Korea actually has been abducting people left and right in the past like decades from South Korea, from China, from just they literally they will abduct them. To, and they will question like their spies will like they abduct them for reasons for example mm -hmm. like crazy if you guys read about it i mean this is some you don't hear every day people getting abducted by governments well, by, by nations if you guys ever see us disappear save mike and dan hashtag um it's probably north koreans it, we've been talking a lot about this lately so their you know their their spy network of three people might be here and i don't know i, I don't have a front gate so We'll see what happens. But let us know your theories on, on this whole story. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.